Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel even the neighbors are watching now. Today, we're going to take a look at a knife sent in uh, by a subscriber for a giveaway. And we, as of yet, still have not given this one away. The CRKT CEO Flipper. But first, let's pay a bill. And we're back. Okay, so we're kind of zoomed in. This is a smaller knife. This was sent in by Josh Fields, the patron saint of Five Minute Knives, at Christmas time to be used as a giveaway. We tried to give it away at once, and uh, nobody claimed it. So we will give it away this month, I believe. And here it is. Here it is. Here's the CEO flipper. Good flipping action. Nice thin blade on this sucker. And this was designed by Richard Rogers in Magdalena, New Mexico. Means nothing to me, but you guys may know who that is. On CRKT's website, is that a hair? Is that a hair? How dare you? On CRKT's website, it says, discreetly compact enough to stow in your shirt pocket, the CEO folding knife is as sophisticated as it is functional. Ooh, ah, it is centered. Check that out. Good centering. Fox, take note, even the skinny little blade can do it. Why can't your stuff do it okay skeletonized yes it is so very lightweight easy to sharpen high carbon stainless steel blade takes an age well what what steel is it let's look that up flipper deploys the blade fast it does it's actually pretty nice it is a little fidgety it's got some nice jimping here on the on the flipper tab my large mitts can get to it pretty easily it is fun it is fun, and the blade does sink in completely into this, you know, kind of neutral, you know, plain handle. G10. This is a G10 model. This goes for about 45 bucks. And liner lock. Yes, yes. Uh, it's Aus 8 steel, so nothing to write home about, but it's okay. I think around the office this would be fine. It's a little on the longer side, but if you did have an office gig, this is like, you know, this could go in a shirt pocket for sure. I think it's fine. Um, the blade feels a little on the flimsy side. This would be a great letter opener for sure. I think I've used it for that a few times. It's fun. It's fun to flip out with a little bit of wrist flick. It really comes out with some authority. There's your CRKT logo. And then here it says Rogers Design 7097, whatever that means. So. Here's the grind. See my fingerprints. The grind's nice enough. Very sharp tip. Very acute tip. In the hand, I mean, super skinny. No jimping on the top or anything, which is okay. I actually don't mind it on a knife like this. You're not going to be bearing down cutting anything. This might be a fun apple cutter. This might be fun for apples. You know, maybe a little of that. Watch today, Seiko SK5. Uh, with a Barton silicone watch band. Beware of these silicone watch bands. They do break over time. You know, like I was working out with this and my wrists have been getting a little fatter and it popped one of these notches here. Fortunately, the next notch down seems to fit better all of a sudden. So I think my wrists are getting a little fatter somehow. I've always had really skinny wrists. Any hoozles, that's the watch. And it's 1.9 ounces. I do believe that. It's about two ounces. So lightweight, really fun. Deep carry pocket clip here. And it comes from the top, which actually I really like that design. It's a nice design. I was thinking about buying this one before Josh sent it to me. And then once I got it in hand, I said, meh, I'm good. I get why he sent it in. I mean, Josh likes to really use his blades. This one is more for somebody that just wants to have a knife on them, but they don't necessarily have the kind of day job where it's cool to be walking around with something, you know, a little bit more substantial. You guys know I've been carrying my Endura lately. I mean, there's a good size comparison, right? Here. How's that? So yeah, shout out to everybody that's been... <laughs> it's funny, people recognize the channel now if I tell them about it at like a gun show or a knife show. And I am going to be repping knives made by a knife maker I'm very excited to work with soon. I have one for sale now, but 
It's not enough to make a whole video on. I'm going to get another shipment in soon. And I'll have four or five up on the site. But I've been making sheaths for a knife maker, and we're teaming up, and the guy's cool, and the customers all like my work, and I like his knives, so it's, it's a really great match. Uh, if you are a knife maker, consider sending your knife in for review, one of your knives in for review. I'm thinking about doing like a knife maker's corner on here. The channel's big enough now where we should be able to showcase uh, up, up and coming knife makers and help them out in some way. I mean, call me crazy, but if you're a knife maker and you have some decent stuff, consider sending it in and I'll show it to my audience. But anyway, CRKT flipper. It's cool. It's a cool knife. I would use this as a letter opener. You got a bit of a sharpening choil here, which is fine. Sometimes that does catch material, but that's nice that they included that. The flipper kind of acts as a little bit of a stopper right there. Focus, bud. Wow, 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 wow. And it's cool. It's nice looking. It's attractive. It's a very thin blade with a couple of swedges on top. I don't know. Kind of a lazy video. I think our next video is going to be the Maxpedition 2 Pygmy Pack that I've been carrying. I need to zoom out for that one. And then also a company by the name of Denver Survival is sending me a pack to review on the channel. I should be getting that pretty soon. So look for that soonishly. And then a couple of our subscribers have been sending in knives, so I should be getting those this week. So thank you guys for keeping the channel going. Thank you to everybody on Subscribe Star. This month on Subscribe Star, we gave away the Koboon. I know you guys love this knife. Josh Fields sent this one in too, only it doesn't include the original factory sheath that comes with this much improved Scout Carry leather sheath. And there's the knife that you love so much that neither Josh nor I was like too thrilled with. But you guys dig it a lot, and ergo, it's a good giveaway, so that, that person's already claimed it. But it will be in the mail tomorrow, and it will be coming with this sheath, just so you know. So that's what it comes with. That's what you're going to get. So thank you to everybody on Subscribestar. Yes, we do the giveaways, we give you guys stuff, it's cool. But at the same time, you're really over there to help support the channel. So, I don't know about these side lights. Should we get rid of these side lights? How's that? Is that better? Same stuff. But we're all zoomed in because it's a tiny little knife we were reviewing today. Little, little pivot T8s. Yeah, normal hardware. Couple pieces of hardware there, couple there. Nice flipping action. Zoom, my friend. Pop. It's fun. You know, for 45 bucks, I mean, if you, if you want a nice letter opener, you, you can kind of look at this knife and, and surmise a different use for it. Would I recommend it? I don't know. Probably not because the blade itself feels so flimsy and light. That being said, if you had the extra 50 bucks laying around and this did appeal to you and you think it would be good around the office and, you know, you're not going to get in trouble and you're legally allowed to carry anything above a 3-inch blade, it's a 3.35-inch blade. So that may be legal some places, some places not so much. The blade looks a little longer than it is. It's actually a pretty little, little blade, if you ask me. It's cool. It's lively in the hand. Not lively. It's, um, it's just, it wants to move in the hand. It's fun. It's a, definitely a fun knife. I like it. I do like it, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. Does that make sense? It's all state steel. It's a flimsy little blade. I can't find a lot of use for it other than to open letters with, which at the office may be ideal. You may open a ton of letters every day. And this also does keep something pointy on you, although I wouldn't use it for anything, you know, a tactical task. I mean, last ditch situation, I think you're better off with your mitts. You're going to slide up this blade easily. So yeah, really, it's, um, it's a fun fidgety letter opener that's well made, that's affordable with mess steel with a funky, cool design, kind of almost like that Quaken style design. I'm glad I got to take a look at it. This will probably be the giveaway next month if we don't have anything else laying around. I'm going to try to give this away again. I think for a giveaway, this is great. And you will have fun receiving this and be like, oh, cool. I'll use this for this and that. Nice. But to go out and buy it, I don't know. There's other options around 50 bucks. So would I recommend that you go out and buy it? No. But if you were thinking about buying it and this does uh, appeal to you, it's not a bad knife. It's well made. It's centered. The action is very satisfying in it. And if you can find the uses for this, I mean, apple cutting, sure. Letter opening, sure. Other than that, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys would use this knife for and whether or not you would recommend it. I don't for purchase, but for a giveaway, it's a nice giveaway. 
I think you guys will enjoy this. So if somebody's getting this next month on Subscribestar, go ahead and hit us up over there. Other than that, I've been thinking about making patches for the fam. Five Minute Knife patches, we'll probably do a pre-order of those. We tried it once before, but the channel was like half the size. So I think now is the time. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you would rock a Five Minute Knife patch. I certainly would. Very proud of this channel and my friends I made through it. So, I don't know. I think that's all I got on this. Yeah, thank you to everybody that's been buying sheaths lately. We're going to make a new uh, sheath making video and Nico is going, going to be taking over the holster side of Dragon Scale Concealment. So you'll see his work reflected on the website. Oh, give him a month or two. He's already made some cool stuff, but we're going to let him polish up even more before we open our doors to the public. Plus, he needs to come up with his own company name. So, anyway, that's all for me. I will see you guys next time on 5 Minute Knives. Any hoozles? Wow, 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 wow. Kaboom.